Hi, Adrian. Hey, Steve. So uh, thank you for taking some time to join me today. We wanted to talk through uh, a little bit about some of the uh, amazing work that you and the team have been doing around Office 365 Connected Groups. So uh, Office 365 Connected Groups in Yammer. So let's just take a step back a little bit. Uh, almost a year ago now at uh, Ignite, we talked about, we announced the exciting integrations that we were going to be bringing to Yammer uh, with regards to connecting Yammer into the suite and having Having all these Office 365 groups services enabled uh, and we were talking previously about even before that announcement all of the work that was happening to lead up to that um, so what I'd like you to do is if you could just talk about some of the highlights that you've seen some of the things that we've shipped but also talk about some of the groundwork that we've had to lay to get to where we are at today sure yeah it's been a, a long but really exciting road for Yammer since it was acquired by Microsoft you know on the surface, it seems sometimes like, you know, it's not entirely clear what it is that we've been doing to get Yammer deeper integrated into the suite. But one of the things that I'm most excited about is I feel like we're really on the cusp now of being able to show all these really awesome cross-group scenarios, cross-suite scenarios. And it's because we've taken this time to lay this foundation. So starting at acquisition time, one of the first things we had to do was map identity. So how does a Yammer identity map to an Office 365 identity? And then similarly, how does a Yammer network map to a Microsoft tenant? And building on that foundation, then we were able to put in all of our data compliance security regulation story to map up with the Office 365 compliance and regulation story so that we could turn micro Yammer on by default for the vast majority of tenants in Office 365. And that was work that took better part of a year plus just to get to that stage, right? Uh, the compliance work alone was about a year. Yeah. The identity and the tenant and network mapping before that was also a year or two's worth of work from an engineering perspective. So, so 2014 to 2016, all that work was happening. Yeah, basically. It was, it was a pretty massive engineering effort. The whole Redmond office was focused on this identity construct for Yammer and Office 365 for a couple of years. So uh, a yeah. ton of ton of work to get us to that point. And when we were when we hit that point, then we were finally able to tackle integration with Yammer and Office 365 groups. So uh, this is what I've been working on for the past year and a half, really. Um, and I'm so excited that we landed the first three waves of integration over the last, what, four or five months, I think it's been, um, mainly because of everything that we can do from here on out for integration with Yammer and the rest of Office 365. So a little bit of recap of what we've actually done. So the first three waves that I talked about with Office 365 groups integration is connecting public and private Yammer groups that were newly created to Office 365 groups. That was wave one. The second wave that we delivered was um, introduction of a new group type into Yammer, so that's dynamic groups. You know, dynamic groups where you create a rule over in the Azure AD portal and then have your group membership management automatically managed just by changes in AD. And then the third wave that we delivered was backfilling and connecting all of your existing Yammer groups that met that public-private requirement to Office 365. So yeah, now the vast majority of groups in networks that are eligible for this integration are connected to Office 365. That's awesome. But, yeah, it's like tremendous. I can't, I can't state clearly enough just how much effort hard work the team put into this. Uh, it's been a really tremendous, tremendous yeah. job by a pretty large crew of engineers over here. And it's such important work as it relates to our mission for Yammer, right? I mean, we've always 
we want Yammer to be more than just a place that people have conversations. It's always been a strong part of Yammer. But we also know that we we want people to be able to incorporate the rest of their workflow in Office 365 in order for them to be really productive. And that's a key part of, of this integration, right? So can you talk a little bit more specifically about some of the things that we've delivered with regards to this connected group experience? Yeah, so one of the things that makes connected groups so awesome and it sounds very basic, but I just want to hammer this point home, is the notion of the shared membership list that permeates across the suite. So the idea here is that now when you set up a Yammer group, you get a SharePoint site, team site, and document library along with it. And then what happens is anytime anybody joins the group, they automatically have access to your entire repository of documents. They leave the group and they lose access to that repository of documents. But then they have the history, they have the context, and you avoid that problem that we've seen so many times where you get a thousand requests for access to a document because the permissions aren't set up properly. Here, now, you don't even have to think about it anymore. You know, this is a, you know, this actually just happened in our own team the other day where we wanted to put, a, you know, Team OneNote together and then we added it into a connected group and everybody had access instead of pinging the, the owner for access to that one specific document. So um, that notion of shared group membership and the shared group identity is really powerful. And that, I think, is really the fundamental piece that's going to make all of our integrations across the suite so much better moving forward. Yeah. So just what yeah. I like about that example also is that you know we're in, in many ways we're putting kind of the control into the user's hands right around how they want to share and making it easier uh, for people to share. But I I also think the flip side has been useful for me as well in that I can share a document uh, or I can save a document into the doc library, but also manage discrete permissions on the file that I previously couldn't do it as a as a just a Yammer file, right? So I could yeah. still share the file in the document list, but say you know what. I only want Adrian, I still only want Adrian to be able to see this. I don't necessarily want everybody in the group to be able to see this. Um, so you can still manage at a more granular level security if you, you, can. you really need to. I think the thing that people are most excited about with the SharePoint document library is the folders too. Yeah, that's that has been uh, nice and uh, perhaps overused in some uh, some groups I'm I'm in. But yeah, that's that is a nice that is nice. Yeah. So, you know, in terms of the work that we did to get to this point, you know, uh, there's a, a decent chunk just in setting up the ability to have this membership now for Yammer groups managed through AAD as opposed to being managed in Yammer. Mm -hmm. So shifting the notion of where this group membership and group identity actually lives from the Yammer system to Azure Active Directory. Um, some of the other pieces I think that we did that are really awesome that come with being a part of the suite is being a part of the search and the discovery elements in other products. So again, if you want to share a document from you know any group that you're a member of, whether it's a Yammer group or a non-Yammer group, but you want the people in a Yammer connected group to have access to it, you can go into SharePoint, share, search, and then your Yammer connected groups show up. Yeah, so all your groups are addressable. From across All your the suites are addressable. You'll see them in SharePoint. You'll see them in Delve. You'll see them in email. So if you search in the global address list, you'll find them there too. And then one of the other pieces that we built as a part of this initiative was a custom routing agent so that when you email the Yammer group, the message gets posted into the Yammer feed. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about some of the admin capabilities that we enable, things like uh, uh, soft delete, so forth? Yeah. So one of the one of the, again one of the great things about being part of Office 365 groups is that now the Yammer connected groups show up in the Office 365 admin portal. Um, this means that you know all your basic management capabilities show up over there. You get to modify your group so you can edit group membership, you can edit the name, the photo, a whole bunch of different things. You can um, manage your groups through PowerShell too, the extensibility components that are not exposed in the suite, the Office 365 Admin Center suite. And then one of the things that we delivered, again, 
was softly, as you mentioned. So now your Yammer groups are recoverable if you delete them, which is awesome. I mean, how many times have you accidentally done the wrong thing and mm -hmm. wish you could undo that? Well, if it's a connected group, you can. Nice. And yeah. also another kind of understated uh, feature that, I, that we delivered, I think, is dynamic groups. Um, can you talk a little bit about what dynamic groups does? Yeah, so dynamic groups are the ability to create a group in Yammer where membership in the group is managed by a rule. So you could say, um, I want everybody who's a product manager in Yammer to belong to this group. And you set up your rule over in Azure AD, and then anytime a new Yammer product manager joins the company, they automatically get added to this group. You know, this is powerful in so many different ways because one, we know that Yammer groups can be really good for addressing large communities. You know, so things like being able to have a, a group like a CEO connection or, you know, a division-wide group where you have announcements and discussion where you want to be able to connect your individual contributors to your leadership team in this division. Um, a Yammer group would be perfect for that because yeah. it removes the clutter from your email inboxes it's a great way for flattening the hierarchy and generating that conversation. Um, and it's easy now because you can just set up this rule over in AD and you don't have to manage it on an ongoing basis. You know, this was always one of the challenges with managing large Yammer groups is that you would have to manage the membership manually. And now you don't. Yeah. You just go in, you set up your rule, and then as people enter your division and leave your division, the group membership gets managed automatically. Yeah. It's really so, set it and forget it, right? Set yeah, it and forget it. it. And there were lots of uh, community managers and group admins that, that did have these large groups, and they were always trying to upload CSV files and membership, and that, that worked okay, but it didn't do anything to manage, help manage the group going forward. It was a one-time load, and then uh, you still had to do things you know, later on to, to manage the group membership. Um, but I also think that, uh, you know, we often talk with customers, especially customers that are first starting their networks, about um, kind of creating a, a creating certain groups ahead of time so that there's a feeling of belonging and people can jump into Yammer and have a sense of belonging in, into certain groups. I think dynamic groups really helps with that, too. So now I can join Yammer. Uh, maybe I just joined HR. I'm automatically dropped into that HR group, and it's, a, and it's now an affinity group that I am automatically a part of just based on my role. So hopefully that helps to create a sense of belonging right away, too. Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a great experience for a new Yammer user because they come in with communities that they're a part of already set up for them. They have a place where they can start and have discussions with people that it makes sense for them to be talking to. And, you know, we know from, from experience that sometimes... Um, if you join and you don't know where to start, it can be a little overwhelming. So having these groups already set up that you're a member of, yeah. uh, it, just, it just makes the, the start of a network, like growing a network, so much more straightforward. Yeah, so absolutely. I'm really excited for all the potential that the dynamic groups have to offer community managers. Well, congratulations to you and the team for the amazing work that you've done uh, done to date. Uh, I know that um, it's been, like you said, it's been a ton of work, and, and thank you to you and you and the team for delivering what you have. Um, but that 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 said, the work isn't over yet, right? No, there's, there's it's a lot just more beginning. to come. Yeah, it so like you said, we've just set the foundation. We've just set the foundation. You know, uh, we've done some SharePoint integration done some integration with email. You can see your Yammer groups across the suite. But coming up in our next phases, we're going to be expanding the group types in Yammer that can be connected to Office 365. And we're going to be deepening our integration across the suite with a number of different Office 365 products. And we're going to be talking about all of this at Ignite this year. So come hear our talk about how to make the most of Yammer in the Office 365. Awesome. And really, yes. really so, excited to tell you about everything that's coming up next year. Yeah, so so block your schedule, the schedule builder, if you're watching this before at night. Uh, it's Tuesday, uh, 10.45. Um, look for Adrian's session. We have a lot more to tell about uh, where we're headed with Office 365 Connected Groups. Um, so, Adrian, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your efforts. Uh, we'll see you at Ignite.